Hi everyone, this is Fanola Howard and this is Ask Fanola How. And today we're at episode 29 of the Ask Fanola How series, so which is really crazy and wonderful. Um, and today's question, real question from a real entrepreneur is a simple one, but one I kind of think you should think a little bit, a, a little bit, wow, one that you should think a little about. Okay, so the question is, how many videos do I have to put on my website? Do I have to put one on each page or can I create a catch-all video instead? Okay, so this is a really great question and I understand the place that it comes from because when you're doing your website and you're trying to write all of the content for your website, it becomes quite challenging because, and we might do a session on this another time, but this idea of making sure that every page that you have on your website has purpose and that everything on that website and every line on that website has purpose and connects with your customer. We need to think about that with our videos too. And I do understand the perspective of when you're doing all of this work, it can be exhausting. It can be really pulling at all the passion that you have for your business, all the messages you want to get across to your customer and it can be really tiring to do a video and then shoot a second one and then shoot a third one. But I say to you this, the simple answer to this is focus on your messaging with the fact that you're saying catch all messaging is already a clue to the answer, okay? So let's poke a little first, right? The first thing that I want to say to you is this, that video is an opportunity for you to connect with your customers. Now it's not a two-way conversation because unless you're doing a live like this and you can ask questions, but a video that's on your website is an opportunity to show who you are, for someone to see you in action without having to commit. It's a way of them seeing you natural, seeing you speak passionately about what you do, really understanding where you're coming from and actually finding if there is a possible connection here. That's what your customer is looking for. When you speak about what you do, does it resonate? Does it resonate with them? Can they feel it? So this is an opportunity, a layer that shows you differently than in your writing. It shows you, and it's an opportunity to show you to your customer. It is the first video you put on your website is like an invitation to know more. And, and that's enough for me to say about that actually. So this is an opportunity to show yourself, okay? And yeah, I know all the stuff that goes with it and practice and all of these kinds of things, but I tell you, the more that you connect with your customer, the more that you do video, it really helps that relationship with the customer, okay? So point number one, your video is an opportunity to show you, to show yourself to your customer, and for your customer to start to build this relationship with you and vice versa, to connect, okay? The second thing I would say to you um, as individual videos per page versus catch-all, the best marketing is focused messaging, one message at a time, because who wants to? So for example, if you go into a coffee shop or into a pub or a restaurant and you meet somebody in an event, and all they do is just talk incessantly without break and just blast you with messages. Can you take it in? Do you want to take it in? This is like a dance, an interplay between two people. So you focus the message, one message at each moment, one message per video. And think also of this example that I often share with people, which is think of those road signs, you know, that are pointed to someone's business that's just down that roadway and they've got everything that they do on that um, on that billboard that they have just around the corner from their premises. You can't read it all. It's just not possible to read it all. And if you did read it all, you would actually swerve off to the side of the road and have an accident. So one video, one message at a time allows them to take it in because we can't take everything in all in one go. Nobody does. You take a piece in, you think about it, you reflect, and the interplay that has to happen next is a desire to want more. In this video, you want them to pull them in, in this first stage of their relationship with you. And remember, if you think about the customer journey, there are stages on that journey. So you can't jump to the end of the journey. You can't jump to 
you know, a marriage proposal on the first date. One message at a time. Start with that connection. Make it a very focused message. And then what you're able to do is, on subsequent pages, when they take that leap to go to another page on your site, you can share with them another layer of the story. And you start to build this relationship based on, effectively, on permission. So give them something at the start, and it might be an introduction to you or your business. And then they go, mm, I like that. I like what that person is saying. So therefore, I'm going to click on another page. And when they click to another page, they've given you permission to tell them more. So listen for that permission. And then you can tell them something else and something else on another page and something else on another page. So you're having one focused message at a time that understands that relationship is not built in a moment. It's built over time. Take your time. One message at a time, one video at a time, focused message, one at a time, okay? So think of it even as layering the story, that you bring them in one piece at a time and just spread it across your website. And I understand the need or the desire to just get it done, but don't. Think of it as this dance that you must do with your customer to make them feel comfortable, to connect with them, and to create space to listen to, okay? So you can do videos that introduce you, tell them who you are. You can do videos that introduce your business if it's, a, if it's not a solopreneurship. So you can also do videos that are one video per product. And it creates space. You're not in a hurry to get it all in. It creates space for you to really show them how this will make a difference to your business, how this will make a difference to your life when you show them and you focused on that moment in time with that one video, okay? You can also do video that's for different parts of the journey, like onboarding them, welcoming them, even welcoming them when they download a lead magnet from you. These are all opportunities for connection. So if you look at your video as an opportunity for connection, then you really use video in your marketing effectively. A great book to read, and I've mentioned it before, is They Ask, You Answer by Marcus Sheridan. And that specifically focuses on website content. So I do invite you to actually look at that, um, to read that, to purchase it, to read that. And um, I'll see you next week. And if this is of interest, check out my um, fortnightly newsletter called Make It Bite Sized, which is also the name of our channel here today. And you'll get a letter from me every two weeks that has little nuggets like this, things I'm seeing in the marketplace and things that will help you grow your business. Have a wonderful day. This has been Ask Finola How, episode 29, and it was how many videos do I have to put on my website? Do I have to put one on each page or can I create a catch-all video instead? So the answer is, please don't do catch-all. Breathe in between each message and give it space. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care.